the coronavirus lockdown. We look back, at the 311 regiment, over the years, posting a photo, or a short video clip from our past, each day. Starting 1st of April, 2020, while we are confined to barracks. Greetings to all those who served in the 311 Regiment, their families and friends. I hope that you will have a happy Easter, with very best wishes for the future, and to the memories that we hold. A toast to all our friends, from all over the world. Major Morris R. Jews is a well-known author and historian, who served in the Royal Mall to Artillery, during World War II. He will be 99 on the 20th of May, next month. He now lives at Simlia, Nashshah, Malta. Major Victor Dugo, had long connections, with the services, including active service in Spain in 1936, and later in Palestine. On the formation of the 11th Heavy Anti-Aircraft Regiment Territorial, in September 1939, he enlisted into the new unit, and was commissioned, in 1941. During the height of the Blitz, he saw active service, in various heavy anti-aircraft positions including Delimara, and Hompesk. In October 1952, Major Duca was commissioned in the 3rd Light Anti-Aircraft Regiment, Territorials, and he finally retired from the Malta Territorial Force, in 1962. In 1967, the authorities realized, that our role as territorial artillery regiments, with our obsolete equipment of Bofors and heavy AA guns, had become untenable. A decision was taken to change the function of both the 3rd and 11th Regiment. Both regiments' three batteries were redeployed into three separate and different roles. In the case of the 3rd Regiment, 15 Battery was to become an infantry company, 22 Battery was given a civil defense role, and 30 Battery would retain its artillery role. 15 Battery's change of role to infantry, was an upheaval of quite big proportions, and required complete retraining. 
Patrick Beacom, was appointed to command the new company. The 3rd, 11th Regiment, was equipped with both as light anti-aircraft guns and heavy anti-aircraft guns. However, the .303 rifle was also a standard weapon issued to all ranks. The weapon, when not in use, was secured under lock and key at regimental headquarters. Extensive rifle training was carried out, both at ceremonial drill and practice shooting at Pembroke Ranges. Indeed, the regiment molded several expert marksmen, during the 1950s and 1960s. These sharpshooters came from both the 3rd Light Anti-Aircraft Regiment and from the 11th Heavy Anti-Aircraft Regiment, indeed also from the KOMR Regiment. After shooting, the weapon barrel was cleaned, with a pull-through, and inspected by senior sergeants. The pull-through was placed in the butt of the rifle after use. Those were the days. The 3rd 11th Regiment, Royal Mall to Artillery, Territorial Force was disbanded on the 31st of March 1972. After 31 years of illustrious service, 